Imagine a pill that could help you lose weight, improve your sleep, and make you live longer. Now also imagine that this same pill could improve your mood and help reduce symptoms of depression and anxiety. Imagine that to take this pill, you didn't have to pay a cent. Now, I keep saying imagine, but we don't have to. It already exists. Well, sort of. While we can't bottle it up into a pill, we have overwhelming evidence showing the benefits of exercise for not only improving our physical health, but also our mental health. Exercise reduces depression symptoms, improves brain cognition, and can even help manage symptoms of schizophrenia. So why aren't people accessing these benefits from the mental health system? Well, one of the reasons is doctors report they don't have the knowledge or the confidence to talk to their patients about exercise. 60% of Australians don't exercise enough, and rates of mental illness are increasing, so it's time we took a new approach to mental health care. The first step is upskilling our clinicians to be more confident in talking to their patients about the benefits of exercise for their mental health. And this is where I step in with my research with a pretty unique way of engaging clinicians. And this is by getting them out there and exercising themselves. Exercise interventions targeting mental health clinicians. The idea is that if we can get a doctor to start exercising more, they will see firsthand the benefits of exercise, both physical and mental, and be more inclined to bring it up with their patients. So just up the road at Prince of Wales Hospital, we recruited over 200 mental health clinicians. We tested their fitness and asked them about their confidence in talking to their patients about exercise. They then met one-to-one -one with an exercise specialist who, over four weeks, helped them with their own physical health goals and increasing their exercise. At the end of the intervention, we saw not only improvements to their physical fitness, but also in their ability to talk to their patients about exercise. I continue now with my research to look at how we can embed interventions like these in mental health settings across Australia. Right now, it's just not possible to get all the effects of exercise into a single pill. But what is within our grasp, with a little work, is to be able to go to our doctor and be prescribed exercise alongside mental health medication. This is the holistic care that we should be expecting. And if we want to start working towards improving the quality of mental health care in Australia, we need to be working towards implementing it now. Thanks.